Did you know it is estimated that we will spend 3,680 hours in our lifetime searching for misplaced items? I don't know about you, but this definitely sounds right. If we're new friends, I'm Jessica with Our Minimal Home. I've been married to my husband, Tyler, for 15 and a half years, and we have two beautiful boys. It has taken us a year to organize and get our main living areas presentable. And you know what? That's okay. Around five years ago, I felt lost. Our 1,100 square foot home was packed with everything we owned, and I realized that I needed a change. So I learned that having less was the road that we needed to travel and fast. We got rid of 60% of our stuff and then we moved to Georgia and that made moving a lot easier. At dinner, we sometimes play a game by Dr. John Deloney called Questions for Humans. And this one question said, where do you feel calmest and why? Now, when it was my turn, I said our home. Now in the past, that definitely was not the case. But now that our house is highly decluttered and very easy to keep clean, I find that it feels amazing and calm now. Now things can get out of balance because we live in it, we homeschool in it, but it's easier to pick up and reset for the next day. Today I'm going to show you how I've organized the rooms in our new house and all the amazing containers and organizers that I've found to be very, very helpful. So let's go. Everyone's space is different. So some of these may work for you and some of them may not. Now let's figure out what works for you. Now, some of the reason it's taken us a year to organize everything is because it costs money to buy organizers and containers. The first step is to prioritize. Which areas are the most important for you to organize first? So I organized the spaces that were important to us first. At first, you don't have to buy anything. We use boxes to separate and organize, and that was fine. Second, make sure you know the size of the space that you want to add organization to. Make sure it fits your area so you don't have to add another to-do list to your schedule and have to take something back. Get the right product for your space. Now you can measure your space, especially if you're buying from online. But if you're actually shopping in a store, I recently learned a little trick, cast from Clutterbug suggested measuring it with some kind of wax paper or wrapping paper. You'll be able to measure with small and large containers and see if they fit in your space. Some of you may not like clear containers and some of you may love to see all of your things and love those clear containers. We're all different, so figure out your organization style if you haven't already. I'll link Cass from Clutterbug's organization style quiz below. By the way, I'm a ladybug, so for the most part, I like things out of sight. So I need some kind of organization in place so I'm not just throwing things in a drawer or a closet. Everything has to have a home.
Next, you wanna place the containers in the space you want to organize with nothing in them. This way, you can see how you want everything to look on the shelves or in the drawer. You'll be able to see how many categories you need for your space. And you can do this in every area of your home you want organization in place. After you've organized your containers, I recommend putting labels on them. Now I use a chalk pen with some kind of chalkboard label so that everybody can put the items back where it belongs. You can also use a label maker. I would just make sure that it's large enough so that everybody can see and read. Me and this closet have not been on the same page since we moved in. I wanted it demolished, gone. But since that's not in the budget right now, I've decided to accept it and come up with some kind of organization. Now you're set and ready to get that area organized. I'd love to know what areas you need help organizing in the comments below. If you haven't, like and subscribe so we can learn more together. Well, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.